What's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness. So I'm about to go uh, do a little bit of mobility work for my ankle and uh, also for my shoulder because uh, for those of you guys who know, well, you know, I have all sorts of injuries because of judo and uh, well, you know, uh, and some of those injuries, well, what happens is that, you know, your, uh, your, uh, your joints get messed up, right? And you lose mobility in it, right? Like uh, over time, wear and tear. And you know you don't take care of it like on the spot right so that's why you should always check yourself to make sure that you're able to move your joints uh, in the range of motion that it's supposed to be moved right so what you can do is you always compare it with the side that's uh, not messed up right so anyways um, and it's something that it's it's maintenance it's mobility you got to do that like uh, pretty much every day right every day for about 10 minutes especially spend a lot more time obviously on the joints that are messed up right and the other ones will just keep the mobility going it's kind of uh, you know mobility and flexibility it's two things um, that that seem to be the same but it's not quite the same right so when you think of it uh, for example flexibility is when you uh, it's like taking a rubber band and stretching right but you see you can't it can't stay in that position like as soon as you let it go it kind of you know it just goes back to what it was right and uh, it's not necessarily a good thing to be hyper flexible. Like it's good, but at the same time, mobility though is where you're able to move your uh, your joint in its full range of motion. And and when you're able to do that, you actually look like you're flexible. But it's not that you're flexible. You just have full mobility, right? And uh, so it's kind of it, it sounds the same, but it's actually not. You know. So I think mobility. Uh, mobilizing is what you should really go for and um, I learned this from uh, Kelly Starrett uh, from his book The Supple Leopard he has a PhD in uh, physiotherapy uh, CrossFit guy too very famous helped uh, GSP uh, you know fix a whole bunch of issues you know uh, and uh, like he trains athletes of all kinds pros you know CrossFitters and all that so yeah man all right so <clears throat> there's a reason why we're in front of Kano here right and I haven't brought him out for a second run yet. I've been busy, uh, you know, working and, and doing all kinds of other stuff. And uh, today we'll see, because my, my lower back is acting up. I think it's too much running, not enough uh, rest, you know. So that's uh, my bad. And I haven't been able to go faster than I uh, improve my time when, when running, right? So I, I run essentially 5K uh, a day. And right now I'm at about, uh, it takes me anywhere between 25, 30 minutes. And I haven't been able to break it. Right, so I'm just giving myself some rest too, and then my lower back here on the right side is acting up a little bit. For those of you guys who don't know, I have my my spine is a little bit deviated to the right. It's called uh, uh, sclerosis, right? And uh, that's just from doing judo and getting slammed and jujitsu all these years, you know. So that's the type of shit that happens, man. So that's why, you know, like when you demand uh, high performance from your body, well, you gotta do high performance maintenance and. Uh, the truth of it is that if you guys want to do high level anything, you're going to end up with injuries, you know? So it's something that you have to kind of live with. Like if you don't want to have injuries at all, uh, and it's something that bothers you at that point, then, you know, you might not want to do anything at a very high level and uh, and so on. Or, you know, if you're lucky enough to have like a shitload of money, you can like, you know, have physios and, and uh, multiple physios and, 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 uh, and a uh, nutritionist and this and that, like you know, like an Olympic athlete where they they have a whole team surrounding them of uh, health professionals that are fixing them up, right? And even then, they're still messed up. So imagine. Anyways, okay, these bands, right? So you got Kano. I put the bands here out for you guys, uh, in order of uh, what do you call it? Of, of strength, right? So this red one here is the weakest one. I'm not sure how much uh, resistance, right? But I know this last one here. This blue one, you know, obviously the thicker it is and darker it is, the more resistance it has. Okay, well, maybe this one is the darkest, but you guys get what I mean. So this one here is about, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 100. You can, you can check this out on Amazon, okay? I'll put a link below. Uh, this one has like about 125 to 175 pounds of, um, of resistance, right? And this one a little bit lower, this one a little bit lower, this one a little bit lower, and, and this one the lowest, right? So me, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this one right here. Because uh, I'll show you guys. I'm going to go into the uh, <laughs> the staircase. Because I'm in a building. So I'm going to go into the staircase. I'm going to wrap this around. I'm going to do some uh, mobility for my shoulder. I'll show you what I do. And then, of course, my ankle. Because my ankle busted up. So these are very useful. You could do... A, a, first of all, 
you could use these for mobility work, right? So mobility, flexibility, stuff like that, fixed issues that you have uh, in your joints. And that's why I recommend like really uh, reading that book, The Supple Leopard. It's a thick ass book, but as long as you read the, the first, uh, uh, the, um, the introduction and the, the fundamental principles, right? At the beginning, after that, everything else is just like uh, detail. So you could just go through it when you need to, to fix a certain problem and stuff like that. But it's, an, it's important to do the introduction to read the introduction and to understand the fundamental principles so that way when you look through it you, you, you understand what you're doing and you can just pick and choose uh, depending on what issues you have right so that's why these bands are great man they're really good for that and on top of that and on top of that you can do uh, a ton of exercises with this too right like all kinds of exercises like uh, if you guys just look up like on YouTube uh, exercises with uh, these are called assisted pull-up bands right or also known as super bands they're not like two bands or those little flimsy little things that people No, these are like really you know like uh, sturdy okay so anyways let's go grab this thing here and look you could walk around with this anywhere man you know you could like uh, I, I usually sling it around my shoulder like this if I'm running with a dog All right boom there it's a little bit tight not really, there you go, you know, look, purple belt, I wish. Okay, so let's grab this here. We're gonna go into, bah, bah, bah. now we're in my room right there. And now, I'm gonna show you guys. The phone is on a tripod, by the way, and I'm just holding it. So bear with me as I move around. All right, now let's head out into the hallway. And you see? See, it looks like a, looks like I live in a hotel. It's kind of a hotel, condo building or apartment building, whatever, you know, so. Here you go, nice little staircase. Okay, so, sorry, here, give me a second, guys. One day I'll have somebody walk around with a camera film shit, right? But until then, you guys are going to have to bear with me and, you know, deal with this moving camera and shit. But hey, it's the content that's important, right, so to speak. All right, so. Okay, check it out. So I'm all set up here. Now somebody, there's not a lot of people that go up and down the staircase, to be honest, you know? So that's why it's all good. Watch this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna work on the mobility of the shoulders. One of the things that you can do, right, is Simply, just make sure you get seating here. Watch, right here. See, wrap it up here like this. All right, come back here. And just so that you guys, sorry, I gotta adjust it so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So once I get this right here, right, right through. You see, like this, right here. And I push my weight forward and grab, grab my own wrist, move this around, right? So what you're doing is that you're pulling, you're creating a distraction in the joint. So what that means is that you're pulling the joint back inside and then you're moving it, right? So what happens is that when your joints are messed up, and you lose mobility, you can't move it in its full range. So you need help, you need something to pull on. So when you go see a physio, that's what they're doing. They're just manipulating, because you know, they have their two hands there, and they can like play around with it, right? But you know, you're paying like fucking hundred dollars and then like a shot. So whereas this, it's like, dude, man, you could just do it yourself. That's why you guys should invest in that book. It's about, I think it's about 60 bucks, right? The Supple Leopard, but you know, 60 bucks worth, worth uh, when you can, but it's nothing, because with that knowledge, you can just take care of your, your yourself afterwards, right? Because you go to the physio, so, <laughs> what's he gonna tell you? He's gonna tell you, okay, we'll stop doing your sport, 
rest, uh, and then uh, yeah, and uh, come see me. We do some massage a few times a week from a go. But that you can do this shit at home, and you don't have to be paying no hundred dollars like every time. Like I'm not saying if you have like some really messed up injury, and then you gotta have the physio progress you through a whole bunch of exercises on a weekly basis and stuff like that. That's one thing. something for my elbow because I had a surgery here again so I can't I can't touch you see where it's here I touch here I can't touch right because well arm bar it's called not tapping often and fast enough and over time you know like bones and ligaments had to have surgery take those things off man so now and of course I had a shit physio like a regular physio who didn't know shit and he didn't really give a shit about me I, anyway, you guys. And you know, didn't give me the mobility stuff. Probably didn't even know I, right? So that's the thing with physios. They're not all the same, guys. It's like, uh, it's like a mechanic, right? You got good ones, you got bad ones, and then you got honest ones, and you got uh, dishonest ones, right? So that's the thing. Now, even if your, your mechanic is, is uh, honest, but they suck balls, they're still gonna do a crappy job. Right, and if they're if they're very good, but uh, dishonest, well, guess what? They're gonna take you for a ride, right? And then, oh, there goes all your money. So, look here, boom! Ah, oh yeah, I'm creating a distraction. I'm pulling the joint that way while I'm bringing it this way. I do this every morning, guys. So bear with me a second. Alright, so I'm gonna set up the camera like this. Right. Okay, you see this right here? That's where I'm gonna strap it. pressure towards the back. Try to fix this for you. Put it here. All right. So it's here. You see, I'm sitting down like this. <laughs> I'm gonna get better at this, guys. So. Wait, right here, so you can kind of see. Uh, see, it's 
you know, I'm sitting down. That does that makes sense. Well, you see what I mean, right? Look, like this, like this. So it's pulling this back. And I'm trying to keep my 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 ankle on the ground here, right? Step here. All right, there you go. So that's it, guys. That's what I do for my. Um... Hey, guys. So I just wanted to finish off uh, the the video there. Um... Yeah, so it cut off because I ran out of space. So that's a lesson for you guys. If you guys are ever filming anything, make sure you delete videos that you don't uh, you don't need anymore so that you have enough space, right? So you don't have to, uh, well, you know, get cut off like that and then have to redo the video or just like do another one and paste it on because that takes a little bit more time. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, that's what I do every morning for... Um, uh, for, for, for my shoulder and for my ankle and for my elbow, right? Because... Those were, are my main, uh, my biggest concerns, my biggest priorities to fix uh, in terms of mobility and all that. So I do that pretty much every morning. So I'll, go, I'll put a link down below um, if you guys are interested in buying the bands for the book too, The Supple Leopard. Like I really recommend that book because it, it has had, it made a big difference in my life, right? In terms of posture and all that and understanding body mechanics. And it's, um, it's not, uh, it, it's, it's a good read and it's well written in a way that it's, it's easy to understand. You know, of course, it's not dumbed down to a point where like, you know, it's just uh, 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 like too, too simple, so to speak. Right. But it's not that hard to understand. And I, I, I think that it's really a book worth buying and investing the time to actually read it. OK, because you could, you know, like a lot of people buy books. And, and I've been I've been guilty of this too, buying books and then after that, like not reading it. So what was the point of that, right? Because we get excited, then we get it, then we, eh, you know, we start, but then, you know, stuff gets in the way. But this book, I think that it ha it'll, it'll have a big impact on your know-how and on, on your, your health in general, right? I mean, there's a lot uh, more that goes into it in, in, uh, when it comes to health and all that. But this is like a big piece of the puzzle, man. So... That's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like this video. Of course, comment, like, subscribe. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, share the video, notification bell. All that good stuff helps to grow the channel, the community. And so that, uh, hey, I could keep doing this. Make some money and just spend my time practicing martial arts and, and, uh, and lifting weights and shit. You know, that's, that's the dream, man. All right, guys. Have a good one. Peace.